And right now, so many Floridians are struggling to file for and receive their unemployment benefits. It feels like a maze for so many people. Tonight, we have some new numbers from the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. But first, on your side, David Jones has the story of one man who is stuck in limbo. This is not a benefit. This is a right of the American people. Like so many Floridians, Thomas Hamilton seems to be stuck in an endless loop, trying to get his unemployment benefits. The lung cancer survivor and longtime restaurant worker filed his claim over a month ago. His application still says pending, and he has yet to get a check. The talking points of many people are, well, it's a benefit. Go get another job. Well, you know what? I've applied for 115 jobs in the time I've been off. Since he filed back in March, he's had to use the older Connect system. Error message after error message. He says some days he isn't even able to get in to see his application. Continual redundancy in the system. They're trying to set it up so that they can find a reason not to process your claim. Many, like Hamilton, want to know if payments will be made retroactively for all those Floridians who have missed deadlines because of errors with the system. The calls to pay retroactively are echoed in the state legislature, including by State Senator Audrey Gibson. Until that information is actually received in the in DEO's uh, system all the way to the end, you're not entitled to the unemployment benefit. That's absurd. FDEO reached out to us to give some clarity on retroactive payments. A spokesperson says the department is working to figure out how to maximize state and federal benefits for Floridians, saying, quote, the agency is committed to ensuring all Floridians get the full amount of reemployment assistance benefits owed to them. A timeline was not given. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.